Hello, welcome back. In today's tutorial we will see how we can model Confluence Park, located in San Antonio, United States, designed by Flotto Architects and Matz's Design. Without further ado let's start the tutorial. Type units and change to meters. Import reference image by drag and drop into Rhino Canvas. Reference pictures are in the description. Now we scale the reference picture using the start and end point of the graphical scale. Click scale starting point, scale end point, and type 50 times 0.304a. Select reference picture and lock. Click the material icon and decrease the transparency. Call it in center. Set number of sides to 5. Select the curve and align each control point. Select the curve and offset. Distance 0 0.1 meter. Select the offsetted curve. Hold down Shift, Alt and drag to the center. Align each control point to match the reference picture. Select these two curves and type sub D loft and press enter. Press tab to toggle subdivision display mode. Select each vertices and type crease. Hold down control and shift to select sub D face edges and vertices. Select the sub D and type subdivide. Select the sub D face by holding down control and shift then double click on one of the faces. Move in the Z direction by dragging the gumball. Select these edges and move in Z direction by dragging Z axis of gumball icon. Select edge loop. Hold down control and shift then double click on the edge. Hold down shift and drag to the center. You can manipulate the for by following like this.
select edge loop and type insert edge. Change offset mode to proportional. Select these edge loops and type bevel. Set the segment to 3. Drag your mouse cursor to control the amount of bevel and right click to accept change. Select the middle phase loop and delete. Let's give thickness. Offset sub D. Distance 0 0.1 meter. Select bottom corner of edges and crease them. Go to top view. Rotate. Say copy S. Yes. Rotate from reference curve that we drawn before. Mirror. Mirror axis from the curve we drawn before. Select the sub D and explode. This will give us each module separately and follow the same process for the rest of them.
Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.